this is a puck and i'm just wondering are you tired of winning yet because <laughs> if not this guy's going to help you get past gear dungeon 2 stage 3 all right let's get into it guys all right so let's jump into it here what we're going to do is throw out where is it this little guy here you will throw out the healer just like that and then of course lust being a lusty little girl herself is going right there she's the main damage dealer and right now he's doing damage to two tiles instead of just one set but our healer is able to handle things fairly well even without the uh uh you know the second life guy from from, from dying oh look at that i'm messing up jesus christ <laughs> try that try it again all right so let's do that again we'll go you there lust and then okay perfect now we got her out there she's working fine doing her thing because she's such low cost i can put her down up here let's wait though i'll actually wait for um let's see they're doing good here make sure and get the heal perfect everything's doing great i will put you right here let's wait for that blood bath to go by there we go now i can place you there place you there and place the very phenomenal healer there outstanding hex go ahead and pop that really early put my tank up here now everything's being taken care of lust starts to do the lust things and we are golden now hex since he's done with that i'll go ahead and pull him and then i will get this little lady ready to place here not yet she's not needed once you see him walk out that's when you can place him everybody's good here you get the heal you'll get the pop of the ultimate and you can pull her excellent 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 everybody's doing their thing here pretty much by themselves lust is getting ready for the next battle to happen healer is healing the tank everything is golden pop and lust outstanding hex is ready put him out there let's get that defense stronger perfect get that popping hex doing what hex does excellent 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 don't even need to heal anybody don't even need to heal anyone but they're there in case we need it come on hex all right that's taken care of i'll pull you put you here she goes fast get all that knocked out pull her out and get ready for the hex back again pop that right as the bloodlust comes outstanding get lust to do her thing hex is almost here doing a lot of things at once but once you put some good gear let's slow this down once you get some good gear on your tank over here and these guys here with a little bit of a good healer here look at this i've only got four people here and they're taking care of this whole thing pretty much by themselves i'm popping lust just to get that little bit of extra damage on her um at, at the end of the level so to speak right um geez look at that i wasn't paying attention blood bath from over there and uh do some things let's get that going come on come on boom oh no it killing me down here that's okay got that second life there go ahead and get that extra fighter going there outstanding go ahead and pull you i'll pull you there we are outstanding 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 go ahead and amp up that speed a bit more handling business over here like he does we'll wait for the burst before we start putting down more healers And then lust goes back down to do lust things there we are last one 
Get him, girl. Get him. <laughs> I'm a bad bitch. I'm a, I'm a bad bitch. There we are, guys. That is the stage complete. Let's check out these stats. Introducing the ultimate gear for military fans and gaming enthusiasts alike. The Death Aider Pro Gaming Mounts. Dominate the realms with precision and speed tailored for your gaming needs. Feel the magic in your hands with every click and movement. With the Razer Black Widow Pro Gaming Keyboard, unleash your full potential with this mechanical beast. Experience lightning fast responsiveness and performance you can drive into the world of Water of Realms. All right, look at that. Look at that. Hasut was up there killing it. Lust was killing it. I even got this guy tanky as he is. He's killing it. I mean, they're all doing just about the same amount of damage. Just about. Look at that. Just about. She's there just to help out when needed and, uh, you know, just just absolutely killing it. Out, outstanding healer. Look at all that attack that I had on her. She's healing a ton, healing a ton because of that, right? Even her, when I use her, she's out there doing a, a, a bunch of healing. I actually should probably put just a little more HP on her to help her be a, a little bit more self-sustainable. I might be able to move some people around so that she could still be covered by Elowen so that uh, maybe i don't but you know that's that's an option for another day but anyway guys let's look at the uh stats like i promised you for the heroes used on this run Oop, no that's that's four <clears throat> all right guys on my gear here i have envy gear on him but i wasn't even using it right I wasn't even using it um these guys uh, i just I, I mean this guy i just put him with a ton of hp that just so happens to have envy gear on i'll use it in later levels but i was not using it here all right um every, but what i was saying on him everything else is pretty much irrelevant he just so happens to have eleven thousand attack but i don't use him for the attack i just put a ton of hp on him and that's really what i'm using for everything else is completely irrelevant for him he's just a tank that survives um, i put this on him to even further the survivability of of, of the him right make him tougher lust she is my big damage dealer but check this out she's only at 70,000 bp you have better gear and if you have her skilled up more it's going to be stronger she's going to be more effective but you know and if you have this sucker skilled up even further it's going to be even more effective but check this out increases crit damage by 30 percent when triggering sinful lash and it will be uh, uh triggered two consecutive times look at the sinful lash hmm 400% damage to a random enemy in range. That's outrageous. That's outrageous. And that is exactly why I look at this and see, well, you know, uh, the attack isn't that strong. Like I said, that's why I had the envy on, on the other guys. They increase the attack. So I don't have to have the attack very strong here. But this uh, speed and crit damage are pretty nice. And again, check out crit damage. 322 plus 30% man that's nice that is nice that's gonna be nice that's why she's so effective uh use the envy gear from something like her or something like him i could face him backwards towards her give her the envy and it works just like that so very effective very nice uh and then when you put her down her envy you'll actually end up you can uh make sure and give it to him so he does a lot more damage as well all right well 10 percent more anyway right so her gear it's pretty nice but again she's only at uh t you know eleven thousand attack not super fancy uh 22 hp not the best you could have her over 27 and be a bit better a little little more survivability but she's able to do the job with this and uh she just needs a little bit of healing from time to time from either elowen or like you know alien like i was using her for right there right but the most important thing here's this 400 attack speed and 400 percent crit damage that is nice this is good too but again like i've mentioned before i was able to get this a bit higher but then i was losing on crit damage so i decided to go with the crit damage and so far so good guys all right i got idril's gaze on that so she gets a little bit of penetration really helps her be more effective right this guy i got him half tanked out right he's got 58 usually i like to keep him around 100 so i just want to say half tank right, i got him on 58 but i've also got him with 18,000 attack 
That way he, he's able to take care of the whole left side without me really worrying about much. As long as I can make sure he gets a little bit of healing from time to time, he's able to handle just about everything else. 500 speed, crit cap of 300% crit uh, damage. Now, his artifact is also very uh, important. Lunacy Visor. When deployed, increases block by one, which is really good for a fighter. And each time the hero deals damage to a single target, restores HP to basically 1% of max. Now, as to each individual target, he does AOE damage. He does AOE damage. You know what I mean? So he's doing tar uh, damage to multiple targets most of the time. And so you're getting multiple percentage of HP gain all at one time, all the time, it seems like, you know? So very effective with keeping a tank self-sustainable. Very effective. Um, Elowen doing Elowen things, but I have her at 18,000 attack. I'm sorry, 16,000 attack. I thought it was 18. 16,000 attack. That really makes her effective with healing. I could actually put her, like I said, up to about 27 HP. That would be a little bit better, but you know, here we are. The rest of this is pretty much irrelevant. I do like the 163 healing effect. It does affect, you know, in the end, make her effective with healing. Now, this, uh, the Invic gear is something that would be very effective uh, for something like this hero here, right? Gives him even more attack and it makes him just that much stronger, but it also helps someone like her with lower attack, but the outrageous crit damage. <clears throat> Uh, Hex, having him some pretty good gear, believe it or not. 17,000 attack, 24 HP, uh, 350 speed, not even crit caps, but 307 crit damage when it does pop off. He's at 85. I mean, it's pre pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. Let's be real. Most of the time, he's critting. It's just the way it works. Um, and then, of course, I got him in the uh, Spirit Siphon maxed there. Just normal tank stuff here, nothing fancy, 95,000 uh, HP, everything else is blah, blah, blah. And of course, got him in this just to make him more tanky. Last but not least, I have this little lady here. Now, she has 15,000 attack because she's an attack-based healer, 26 HP, so she's not very squishy, which is really helpful. Um, all, just like with everything, you still need to pay attention to her HP, but you know, the fact is you have her uh 26 26 5 basically 27 it is is really make, makes her very effective her healing effect where is it at i've only got her at 10 so if you can make that higher it would make her better and more effective but nonetheless she's still pretty good there and then um i got the Rofic orb on her not even max but it gets things done now what is very important is where is it this right here this is the reason i like her specifically it says Additionally, allies and reigns will receive 12% less damage, right? So it's a big damage reduction on the tanks. It's really going to help with survivability. And that's why I built her, even though she's an attack-based healer, I built her with a little bit more HP so that she can survive those big burst attacks that hit the whole field. All right, guys, that's the stats. Make sure and like and subscribe the video. Um, we always got stuff like this, new guys for new content always coming out. So make sure to leave your comments in the uh, you know in the bottom of the video and we'll we'll go up from there. Till next time, guys. Apoc out. If you enjoyed that video, guys, check out my channel here or my latest video here. Till next time, Apoc out.